Hello students, it's Dr. Sansom. We're going to do a problem asking ourselves whether when we mix two solutions together, we're going to see a precipitate form. So we're given some information about silver sulfate. The KSP for silver sulfate is 1.5 times 10 to the minus five. And we're asked if we mix 100 milliliters of 0 0.06 molar AgNO3 with 10 milliliters of 0 0.05 molar Na2SO4, will Ag2SO4 precipitate form? So, what we're going to need to do here is figure out whether our Q, when we mix these solutions together, our reaction quotient, is greater than, equal to, or less than K. So I'm going to need to find the concentration of Ag+. And to do this, we've got 0.1 liters times 0 0.06 moles per liter. And we're going to be dissolved in a total volume of 0.11 liters, 110 milliliters, when we mix these together. So my concentration of silver ions will be 0 0.0545 molar. For sulfate, I'm going to do a similar process. 0 0.01 liters times 0 0.05 moles per liter divide by our total volume of 110 milliliters, and I get 0 0.0455 molar. So now I want to know what is the value of Q. So my reaction for the KSP will be my silver sulfate dissolving and dissociating, we're going to get two silver ions and one sulfate ion. So my Q expression will be my concentration of silver squared times my concentration of sulfate. So I've got those values, I'll plug them in. And I get Q equals 1.35 times 10 to the minus 5. So I can compare this Q value to my K value, and I see Q is less than K. When Q is less than K, it means it will proceed spontaneously towards products. And that means that no precipitate will form. In other words, because it's going toward the products, which are our dissolved species, and not towards the reactants, which is our solid, no precipitate will form. If Q were greater than K, then a precipitate would form spontaneously. And if Q equaled K, it would mean we were at equilibrium and no solid would form, but if we added any extra, it would not dissolve. Okay, thanks for listening. I hope that's helpful.